On Sunday, November 7, soap opera actor Inga Rademacher, Jasper Jax Jax, General Hospital, created a social media firestorm when he posted several messages to his Instagram stories that included postings about an upcoming nationwide protest against federal-slash-state vaccine mandates, censorship by big tech companies, and even sharing a video of an allegedly vaccinated individual claiming vaccine injury following receipt of the vaccine, among other messages. However, it was his sharing a screenshot of a post from Twitter that led to his GH co-star Cassandra James, Terry Randolph, to call out the actor, even if not by name. For his transphobic post, I am aware of a transphobic post shared by a fellow General Hospital actor, said James of the post being discussed across Instagram, Twitter and other platforms. Shame on you. You have some serious unlearning and education to do. I feel deeply disappointed that such a public display of ignorance could come from our GH family. James added to their post, saying, Misgendering trans folks is violence and if you come for one of us, you come for all of us. This this world doesn't get to decide which of us is valuable. I'm so proud of the fans for always holding us to a high standard, for calling out transphobia and violence. Co-star Nancy Lee Graham, Alexis Davis, responded to James' post, saying, The fellow actor, hashtag Ingo Rademacher, is mercifully no longer a part of the hashtag GH cast. She added, Transphobia and misgendering are disgusting and should be unacceptable in any industry, including soaps slash acting. I stand with my co-star, at Cassandra James underscore, and the trans community. Gran recently revealed that a vaccine mandate had gone into effect at GH as of November 1, 2021, which Rademacher allegedly did not comply with considering his public stance on vaccine mandates. Her post marks the first time anyone connected to GH, ABC or Disney have commented publicly on Rademacher's status with the soap opera following last week's rumor mill that the actor along with another big name star among the show's cast were allegedly let go due to not complying with the vaccine mandate. Related, vaccine mandate in full effect at General Hospital for series star Nancy Lee Gran in the post shared by Rademacher on his Instagram story was a screenshot of a post from Twitter by user at Conserve Millen which said, Welcome to Clown Town, where the dude on the left is an empowering woman, and the woman on the right is a white supremacist. The picture on the left was that of Assistant Secretary of Health, Rachel Levine, a transgender female who was sworn in last week as a four-star admiral. The picture on the right showed Virginia Lieutenant Governor-elect Winsome Sears, who is seen brandishing a weapon in her hands as part of campaign paraphernalia. Rademacher has been very vocal on social media in recent months about his being against a vaccine mandate which led to a write-up on deadline, COVID controversy checks into ABC's General Hospital when cast clash over vax mandate, an entertainment trait whose reporting later got the attention of several industry heavyweights, particularly Law & Order, SVU showrunner Warren Light, who said on August 28 in response to the deadline article, no actors or crew should have to work with unmasked, unvaccinated actors, period. A few days after posting, Light responded to a tweet by a Twitter user who uses the hashtag hashtag MAGA on their Twitter profile, and said of Rademacher, he has a right not to get vaccinated. Our cast and crew have a right not to work alongside people more likely to get and transmit COVID. Following word that a vaccine mandate was put in place at GH, a Twitter user responded to Grant's tweet last week based on rumors of some of the show's talent being anti-vaccine, Grant stated, It is not my place to expound on that. It is theirs. Ask them, related ad block test, why, 